Okay, <clears throat> here is a little bonus where I'm going to show you that in the library because a lot of the issues that I've been showing up is, oh man, I'm trying to build my library function to pull a random parameter and then feed it into another function. It won't work when you're building a library. When you're building a library, you need to have the function stand alone. Here for my random country, that's fine. But here, when I have this parameter country name, I can't pull a random country name from this function and then feed it into this function. That doesn't work when you're building a library. They have to be separate. And that's okay because once you bundle this all together, each function goes it's in its own envelope, all the envelopes go in the library folder. That's fine because it's up to the programmer to figure out what the heck to do with your library. Um, an interesting, important thing that you need to keep in mind when you are working with libraries, maybe your library gets updated. So double check that. Maybe your library creator has updated things. So click update, update, because I did something that messed up my library. So now I have re redone it. All right. So what I have going on here, I have set up a variable called country name, and I have asked it to run the random country function. I look at this here. This function here is going to return a random country from the list of countries. All right. That is random country name. It's going to get the name of a random country. Now what I'm going to do when this random country button is clicked, I'm going to go through the function get random country name. What I'm going to do is, oh, I was trying to do this, but it didn't work. I'm going to set the text of country name to be the variable random country name, which now holds the value of the random country from the list. I'm also going to set the text of country population to be my country population function. And my argument for my parameter is random country name, which carries the value of my random country. My country flag is going to run the all flags uh, function for my library. And again, I am passing the argument random country name, which is going to have some random country in there through this parameter that's going to set the image URL of the country flag. Okay. And then when I click reset, I'm telling country name to be an empty string, country population to be an empty string, country flag to be blank. So this is why you have to have your random stuff separate from your other um, functions. It might feel weird when you're building the library because you want to get it all done at once, but you can't have functions interdependent on each other when you're trying to move them into a library. Make it easy on yourself. Oh no, what have I done? Oh. I messed up, you guys. Hang on. Pause. OK, I'm back. Um, I had messed up my library code, and then I updated it with a bug in it. So I went through and I fixed the bug. But important thing to notice as well, here in my library, I was testing it with my console log. Then I published this as a library. This is what happens when you do that. I haven't even done anything yet, and look what's printing in the console log. That's not in my code. But because I had the console log in my library, now it's messing up big. So make sure you get rid of any console log tests in your library, and then make sure you update that. And then if you are using that library, make sure you come update that here. All right, hooray, not there anymore. Now, I'm gonna click random country. We already talked about what should happen on the on event that that's clicked. It should grab a random country from the list and then feed that country name in as an argument through all my parameters. And it does, look at that, Algeria flag population. If I reset that, it goes away. Random country, Tonga, reset, Nepal, took a while to find that flag. But that is why in your library functions, have your functions separate. Make it easy on yourself because it's up to the programmer to use it properly. Cool. Bye.